It was another warm and humid day here on Delmarva, and we even saw a few showers move across coastal portions of the area, but then a sea breeze moved through the area and stabilized the air mass. So this evening, storm tracker radar is clear. We're not seeing any more showers or storms across the region, and that will stay the story through the overnight hours. We are, though, still dealing with the mostly cloudy skies, and we'll see some thicker cloud cover move across the area briefly this evening before clearing out through the overnight hours, and we'll see those partly cloudy skies by the morning. We're seeing all this cloud cover, though, because the stationary boundary continues to sit just to our south, and it won't move much as we head towards Monday. That's why we'll continue to run the risk of seeing those partly to mostly cloudy skies, maybe even a stray storm as we head towards Monday afternoon. But overall, most of us will stay dry with those partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Temperatures out the door this evening, still pretty warm out there. 85 degrees down in Watch Creek, 79 in Salisbury. It is a bit cooler, though, as you head further north, 74 degrees there in Dover. And our winds just generally out of the north to northeast at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And those northeasterly winds will continue through the daytime hours tomorrow. Taking a live look out on our Boardwalk Plaza Hotel camera in Rehoboth Beach. Still quite a, people, quite a few people out there on the boardwalk, but temperatures have cooled off into the mid-70s with that northeast wind at 16 miles per hour there in Rehoboth Beach. So as we head through the overnight hours and towards tomorrow, we'll continue with those partly to mostly cloudy skies. Winds will be coming off the coastline, so we'll see temperatures staying a bit cooler in the upper 70s to low 80s tomorrow. We could see a stray storm Monday afternoon, but overall we'll stay dry. So once we head towards Tuesday, that's when we'll begin to see those thunderstorms move through the area. We could see some strong storms that could produce some torrential downpours and maybe even some gusty winds as they move through the area. And then as we head towards Wednesday morning, we still could see a stray storm early Wednesday morning as this cold front pushes through the area. Behind this cold front, We'll begin to cool down, our humidity levels drop, and we'll see a lot of sunshine. We'll see a lot of sunshine through the rest of the work week and then even into next weekend. Temperatures overnight tonight, though, will fall into the upper 60s, 69 in Salisbury to low 70s, 73 down towards Melfa with those partly to mostly cloudy skies that will remain humid. Then tomorrow we're warm into the low to mid 80s, 83 in Salisbury, 81 in Shinktik, 80 up towards Lewis. We could see that stray storm, though, in the afternoon, but overall just partly cloudy skies. Then the storms return Tuesday, continue into Wednesday, but then we dry out for the rest of the work week into next weekend. We'll be right back after the break.